Hey everyone, it's that time. It is I, and yes, we're going to take a look at two more shorts for a review of Palooza of the films of the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival. Today we're taking a look at Apocalypse Salad and Gamma Ray Man. Now, Apocalypse Salad, brought to us by director-writer Ryan Pearson, gives us the story of a group of survival uh, survivors of you know, an apocalypse, and they're held up in this minivan, and they start talking about this, uh, you know, using this interesting dialogue and these interesting nicknames for the nasty things that are outside. One of them talks about how a jello killed his mom. And it makes you start to wonder exactly what are they talking about? Is this apocalypse involving mutant food? So they use all these different interesting uh, play on nicknames and really have you questioning what exactly are they talking about? And they take it just enough. They make it just long enough and uh, edit it just quick enough to keep you interested and, and not make it too long. And then boom, it hits a point to where their nicknames are explained and you get the old Oh, that's what they meant. Okay, because those nicknames were fitting for the things that they were talking about. So I really enjoyed that. The banter between these uh, actors really was well done and, and kept moving and seemed kind of natural. And you really kind of had to pay attention to how they're talking. And it, again, it did confuse you, at least me, a little bit of exactly, okay, what exactly are they going for? Uh, but the questions are answered, so I was happy about that, and answered in epic fashion. Let me tell you, they do a real flashy, and things really pick up at the end. There's some great special effects, and they're all practical, at least most of them practical. Uh, makeup effects done really well, too. Uh, overall, Ryan Pearson gives you just an entertaining film that is a uh, great play on words. Now, another one that they came uh, showed there was Gamma Ray Man. That one's actually on Vimo, and you can see that now. Written and directed by Jason Kaufman, and brought to us by the production studio that did the film Tape, which I reviewed last year. And now this time around, we get Gamma Ray Man, the story of a man who is trapped in the Gamma Ray machine room and ends up becoming Gamma Ray Man. This is definitely a send up to the 50s sci fi films, and you can tell whoever uh, went, you know, they watched a lot of these sci-fi films and uh, took to heart the things that really make those sci-fi films cheesy and lovable at the same time. Now I think there were just a couple moments in here where they could have hit the nail on the head a little more while going for that cheesy sci-fi feel, but for the most part they accomplish what they're going for. Plus they come up with a very interesting character in Gamma Ray Man. They've got some great special effects and makeup effects for him and I really thought that was an interesting character and wanted to see more of this character of this uh, man, uh, Gamma Ray Man, who we don't know who plays Gamma Ray Man. So definitely some mystery to the character there, some great performances overall by everybody in here, uh, and an interesting storyline that definitely seemed like it was ripped out of the 50s. Uh, so Gamma Ray Man and Apocalypse Salad, two very interesting, unusual stories that definitely prove that the Schlollywood can't give you original stories, but independent horror cinema can. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that ticket stuff.